talk about insurrection 2000. We've got the cat with may young and her corner defeating Terry with fabulous Mula in her corner. This is an arm wrestling match. Of course, there's going to be some distractions, some shenanigans. Uh, cat's going to flash the crowd. And this is really Mula's last appearance on TV until like new years of 2001, but 2002 is, uh, or I'm sorry, new year's Eve on 2001. So December 31st. But in 2002, this is when the book comes out, the fabulous Moolah, the first goddess of the squared circle. And there's lots of shenanigans in here. I guess we should run you through some of the timeline stuff though. She's the youngest of 13 when she was born. She's the only girl. Her mother dies when she was eight. She goes to live with her grandmother to uh, earn extra money. She would pick cotton. When she's 14 years old, she gets married to a 21 year old named Walter Carroll, which is crazy. Two years later, she has Mary Carroll and then divorces her husband at 16 years old. And when she's 17, she starts managing for Billy Wolf, who she found to be a despicable human being and saying he treated us like meat. And apparently Wolf was, uh, allegedly notorious for advising his wrestlers to enter into a sexual relationship with himself or other promoters to ensure additional bookings. And of course, Mula says she refused to go along with this. Billy Wolf is a name that a lot of fans may not be familiar with. What do you remember about Billy? You know, I obviously I've never met Billy Wolf. The only thing I ever heard was that he was, I think he was married to Mildred Burke and booked the women in the early days and was hated by pretty much everybody. And it was a, that was a dirty side of the business that, you know, later on you learn about it and go, what the hell? But he wasn't very well respected, but he had, he had control of the women. And if you want to use the women, you had to go through Mildred and you had to go through Billy. So that's really about all I know of him. 